Hello there, I'm Vieno and this is my third video tutorial on D3. Uh, in the previous video we looked at two basic, metho basic methods uh, of D3 and that is uh, the select method and the append method. And uh, what they do is, well, I guess kind of self-explanatory. We select elements with the select method and we add elements or append uh, elements with the append method. And uh, in the previous video, we used those two combined to add a paragraph element to our web page. And the result looks like this. Uh, right, so, oops. Um, in this, I mean, this is not very exciting and this is not what D3 was designed to, to do. Um, we want to create really cool visualizations, right? Uh, we don't just wanna add elements that we could just as easily have added with simple HTML. Um, so in this uh, video we're going to take a look at something called SVG. Now SVG stands for Scalable Vector Graphics and it's a, um, I guess you could call it uh, a way to a way to create two dim dimensional dimensional graphics on our web page. Sorry. Um, but before we start with that, let me just show you two real quick things here. Um, up till now, we've uh, written our D3 code in a single line like this. We can actually uh, divide, well, separate our methods with a, with a new line like this. You can indent this however you like. Um, so right now, I mean, it doesn't really seem to matter. It's legible anyways, but the more code we'll have, the more, the better it will look to separate our our methods uh, using new lines like this. Um, and also, I want to show you how to add stylis stylistic properties to our elements. Now, there are two ways to do that. Well, actually, one way. Let's say we wanted to to change the color of this paragraph to red. I mean, right now it's it's black, right? which is the default color. The way we change the uh, the color is using the is using the style method. Whenever we use the style method, we're affecting a CSS property of the element in question. So um, the style method takes two arguments. First of all, the property, which is color in this case, and the second one is the second one is the value. So Let's say we wanted to make it red, we would type red here. And if we refresh, we'll see that the paragraph has turned red. And now there's another another uh, method to change properties of elements, and that is the attribute um, uh, method. And you type it out like this. It's uh, short for attribute. attribute. And um, this is Mm. Attributes are the things that, for instance, this uh, source thing here, that's an attribute. And you know when you add a link, you type a href, the href thing is a an attribute. So, yeah, as we use style to change the stylistic properties of elements, and we use attribute or attr to change the attributes of elements. Right, so with that knowledge, let's start creating some SVG uh, shapes. In this part, I'll show you th uh, th how to create three basic shapes in SVG, and that is a circle, a rectangle, and a line. Um, first of all, whenever we, whenever we want to create SVG shapes, we start by creating a container or an, a canvas for our visualization. So you can't just add a SVG circle onto the HTML document directly. We have to provide it with a container of some, well, a kind of a kind of a canvas. Uh, so the way we do that is by appending a SVG element to our page, and it's really simple. It's just append SVG. And uh, let's give it some properties. We need to at least specify the width and height. 
and you may be surprised by this I mean we are we are giving it CSS properties right this width and height of the uh, of the canvas but we're using the attribute um, attribute method and this is um, yeah when 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 styling SVG elements we use the attribute method instead of style and that has its technical reasons but it doesn't really matter right now uh, right so we have our SVG container let's end this with a semicolon and we can actually start to make use of a good practice and that is assigning code snippets to variables so let's assign this appended SVG element to um, a variable. If you haven't uh, worked with uh, JavaScript before, you may not know what, what a variable is, but it's really simple. It's just a short form for whatever is on the right side of the variable declaration. So canvas in this case is equal is um, is representing this code right here. Uh, so let's start by creating a circle. We can first of all create a new variable to hold our circle element and uh, instead of typing out d3 select and so on again we can just start by um, typing out canvas since canvas is uh, the same as this code right here uh, canvas and we append something to our canvas we append a circle and let's give it some properties uh, first of all we want to give it uh, the horizontal position and that is used that is done using the uh, CX property C stands for center I think and X is yeah the horizontal coordinate so CX let's uh, oh, let's give it a CX property of value of 200 250 pixels so it will begin it will um, be positioned in the middle of our SVG container. And let's uh, give it the same property for the vertical position and let's give it a radius of 50 pixels. And uh, yeah, we can also give it a color. And in SVG, we don't use the uh, colors, are not called colors, we use the fill property. So fill will be let's say red and let's save and refresh and you can see that we have a circle so let's speed this up time is running out we want to create a rectangle so the same way as we did when uh, appending our circle sorry we create a rectangle like this and we give it similar properties but not the same properties since it's another shape a width of 100 height of 50 let's say yeah let's settle with that and since SVG is created it starts drawing in the top left corner or since we haven't assigned any coordinates to our to our rectangle it will start it will be drawn in the in the, in the top left corner so let's refresh and as we can see we have a rectangle now let's wrap this up by creating a, a line we create a new variable and we append a line to our canvas and this has takes uh, let's see we start by giving it the, f the first horizontal position the first vertical point let's say 100 and it moves to the second point which will be 400 and uh, y to let's say 400 and we have to give it a stroke so that we can actually see it let's say green and let's give the stroke a width so that it's uh, really visible uh, stroke width will be 10 and let's uh, refresh and you can see that we have a line 
and uh, I think you probably understand what what these properties mean the, f the x1 is the first horizontal uh, position or point of the the line so that will be yeah the furthest to to the left right since this is zero and the first um, vertical position is 100 pixels from the from the top this uh, distance here and then the second point where the line goes to is 400 pixels to the right and that is this distance and the same for the uh, the distance to the, to the top so yeah that was a short introduction to to SVG and how you create SVG shapes using D3 um, in the next video we'll I don't know what we'll do but something even more interesting I bet so see you then